Hello, everyone. I hope we're all having a great night. This is a little bit strange for me because it's Thursday today and it's the start of my weekend. With Valentine's being this Sunday uh, and with what I do, it's one of those holidays I can never take off. It's one of the busiest days of the year for us. So I'm working on Sunday. But that gives me Friday and Saturday off for a change. So we got to do what we got to do. The best thing, though, was Valentine's is that time of the year when you give that special someone, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, even yourself, that little treat just to let them know you care. Well, I got my little treat. (laughs) My snack crate arrived, so I figured today is the perfect time to do this. I do have my knife handy, I have something to drink, and as always, let's find out where we're going this one. So, hiding the box from my view. You guys can see where it is, where we're going. Closing that. I have the box so that I can't see inside. Okay, so they've done like previous weeks. That's just the usual card. Don't want to see that. And I feel chips. Feels like cookies. But anyways. Let's pull the first thing out. Let's try and guess where we are. We're going. Hmm. Okay, we have something called Willard's Flings. Interesting. Bait not fried, da da da, but it doesn't actually say anything. About it, other than they're called flings. And I have no clue where these are from. No way to find out. They smell interesting. Okay. Well, instantly, they look like Cheetos without the cheese. And it tastes like a Cheetos without a cheese. That's a big crunchy puff of air with a really weird flavor. I hope this is not how the box is going to go. There's really nothing special whatsoever. It is a very blend there's not there's not even salt that I got at least on that one to make it taste better let's try and dig a little bit deeper into the box instead of just pulling out all the chips okay I still have no clue where we are but we got a nosh bar and this looks like kind of like a Snickers bar, except this is with hazelnuts. Hazelnuts, nougat, caramel, and smothered in milk chocolate. So this could be really good. Even though, it's weird, those last things, even though they had no flavor, they're leaving a really weird chemical taste in my mouth. Before we try this, go. Something to get rid of the taste of the other thing. All right, so it looks like your standard chocolate bar. You can see inside. 
kind of looks like a Snickers. Not bad. The hazelnut is very, very strong with it. The nougat, not too bad. So like I said, it's kind of like a Snickers, that same concept, nuts, nougat and all that. But the hazelnuts really changed the flavor. And it's got a lighter texture. Almost, um, well, it's softer to chew. So let's dig around. Oh, is this one of the mis... <laughs> okay, we have a cube. And all it says on the cube, uh, it's not going to show up on camera, I don't, don't think. It just says UD. All over it, it just keeps saying UD. Oh. Look at me. Chocolate cube. <laughs> Curious to find out what's in it. One way to find out. Hmm. <laughs> Where's my garbage? It tastes exactly the same as that. You can sort of see where the two hazelnuts were. I already ate them. <laughs> this is the same thing as, this is the exact same thing as an Osh bar. Except the nougat is firmer, either that or these are older, and there's no caramel. But other than that, not too bad. I can almost say I prefer the, the little square that I just ate over the big bar because it had more texture to it. So. And I still have no clue where where we are, by the way, like what country. But we do have a Cadbury five star. I'm really liking this box so far because out of four things, three have been chocolates. So this says it's Cadbury milk chocolate, soft caramel, a biscuit and crunchy bits. Hmm. So it almost sounds like a Twix, but with extra Rice Krispie type things in it. <laughs> I'm glad I ate dinner first, because right now this is dessert, but it's going to stop me from wanting to eat all of it. <laughs> so again, normal looking chocolate bar. Mm. You see the caramel. Mmm. Best one so far. The cookie, I think, is the bits. The cookie crunchy bits. Yeah, sorry, I misread that. It actually says caramel plus crunchy biscuits. So that one so far is my favorite. I think I've got caramel in my beard. <laughs> I do have to shave this off, but when it's minus 25 Celsius outside, I keep this on because it's easier than wearing a scarf. So I'm just closing a message that came in. And what we are going to do is I'm going to pause this for one second just while I get a refill of my drink. So be right back. So there we are. I'm going to refill. Got to have my San Pellegrino. If you are trying to get away from the colas and everything, this is a nice little... Twist. It's a sparkling water with fruit, but it's nice. 
And they have all different flavors. This is like blood orange with pomegranate, which is really nice. Hmm. Part of me is thinking like we're in the, we're somewhere in the UK, I think. Just this is like, it seems like something I'd find there. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at this and talking and I'm not showing it at all. These are called mini cheddars and they're cheese flavored snack. Uh, again, baked, not fried. But nothing so far has given me any clue as to where it's from. I know when we had the UK box, everything was saying like, you know, 39p or whatever. This nothing has had a price on it or anything, and everything's been in English. So, but yeah, they kind of look like a Ritz cracker, just smaller. Kind of tastes like a Ritz. Need more info on that one. They definitely taste better than these horrible things. Those were just really bad. They kind of taste like a like a Ritz cracker. They're very buttery. The cheese is it's an afterthought. It's like you've got something in the back of your mouth and you're like, I know that flavor, and then you go, Oh yeah, it's cheese. Not bad though. Like, those flings are probably going in the garbage. Those, I'll finish eating, though. So, we're going to dig in. Oh. Okay. So, this is the same company, the same thing. Also called Mini Cheddars. Except this is a fruit chutney-based flavor. So again, I'm totally at a loss. That's where we are. Ooh. It has a different kind of smell. Look the exact same as the others. The smell doesn't match the taste at all. Thank God, because they stink. <laughs> they're sweet. And they're just a really weird flavor. Like, I've had chutneys before. And that's like no chutney I've ever had. They honestly taste just like the other ones, but sweeter. So my favorite, no. So far, the five star has been my favorite, hands down. Love that one so far. Got more chips. Oh, thank God they are not from the same ones. Okay. This box is like from everywhere, it seems. Because these are Simba. And these are Mexican chili flavored potato chips. And then it actually says it in Spanish. Words with flavor. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> so. They smell like the fruit chutney things. I'm really hoping that this is some new type of gas or something. Well, just standard rippled potato chip. I really hope this smell is some kind of like new, like how they package stuff in nitrogen to keep it fresh. I just hope maybe this is a smell that they're adding. Okay, 
Okay. You know me, I like spicy stuff. This is a, a regular, plain, salted ruffle chip. There's zero spice whatsoever. That ranked up there with the flings. Where I was expecting, wow! I got, eh. <laughs> The only thing is at least the potato here had a little bit of flavor and there was salt on these. So I'm feeling around in the box. That's two. Holy. Okay, three. That's a big one. Four. I think we got like five or six things in here. Okay, we got another one of those squares. Nestle Tex. Nestle Tex. Oh. Okay. Well, this could be interesting because it's a wafer bar, but they actually claim to have an arrow filling in it. Smells like chocolate. You can see there. That yes, it does have a bubbly chocolate in the middle. Does it taste like an arrow bar? New. No. Does it taste like cheap? Mass produced, low quality chocolate. It reminds me of the chocolate you get <laughs> from the dollar store. That real waxy, over sugary, definitely not one of my faves. That one could have been really good because I love arrow bars. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to get that taste out of my mouth. <clears throat> I wish, <coughs> so far, I could figure out where this box was from. And again, it makes me think we're in the UK. But I don't know, because we, now we have a Milky Bar, again from Nestle. And this just looks like a this looks like a Nestle Crunch Bar, but with white chocolate. <laughs> mm. And you see white chocolate, It to me, it just feels like wax. I hope it tastes better. No. I hope the camera can pick this up. They don't even call it chocolate. It's just a creamy white con uh, confection. So they don't even dare call it chocolate. I felt like I was eating a vanilla flavored candle with crispy bits in it. Not my favorite. Nestle Bar One Peanut. <laughs> yeah. That's it. The Bar One. And it look, it's another. This is another Snickers knockoff. But they say for the 25 hour day. Either this thing has so much sugar in it. That'll keep you going. Or someone really needs to learn marketing. Ow. 
Ow. Sorry. I just ate a chocolate covered brick. At least the chocolate tasted good. The nougat was rock hard. The peanuts were the only thing that allowed me to like bite through it because I was eating the nuts. And when I was eating the nougat, I was hearing it crunching. I'm really curious to know where this box is because honestly, it almost feels like they've unloaded some of their unwanted stuff on the box on the snack rate. Okay, so part of me is almost glad we're at near the bottom of the box. In fact, there's two things left. Okay, please be good. Nestle Peppermint Crisp. So to me, this looks like a mint arrow bar. And I'm wondering, actually, arrow is made by Nestle. At least it is here in Canada. Wow. So on the picture, it's kind of hard to tell. It shows you this nice green filling. <laughs> That's a scary green filling. Chernobyl's toxic waste has been found. It's minty. It's like eating scope. Very sweet. The best way I could describe that. It's a mint Butterfinger. It had that same layered, crispy, chewy filling like you would get in a, a Butterfinger, but mint flavor. Very different, but it, it's not the worst thing in the box. I'd put that almost, I'd put that higher up than a lot of this stuff. It was just, Weird, because <laughs> you just didn't expect that. And last but not least, okay, eat some more biscuits. <laughs> so I'm kind of, and these are from Baker's, the same guys, yeah who did these, so I'm hoping they taste better. I'm kind of, at least soon I'll be able to see where all this is from. This has been bugging me, because some of this box almost seems Mexican, some of it almost seems. I was really hoping when I saw the tartan outfit, well, excuse me, they'd be like shortbreads. But they smell like butter cook Danish butter cookies. Yeah. They're shortbread ish, but they aren't. It's just a really 
plain cookie. It's not too sweet. It's not too flavorful. It's not too anything. This, I know how to make better. This, I'm going to wait till after the video. And I'm going to dunk these in Nutella. And that will make them good. <laughs> but until then, now it's kind of time to figure out where in the world we were. If I look for the card, it honestly tells me nothing. It just tells me, oh, God, I wish this came with an antacid. Yeah, this tells me nothing. Oh, and there we are. For those who can't read it, we are in, we were in South Africa. So, like I said in the last one, they have stopped the little foldy thing, the little booklet. And now you get this card. It tells you all the same stuff. And there is, if you want more information on South Africa, and scan the QR code. <laughs> I don't know if that works or not, but yeah. Was it the worst box I've had? No. Russia still holds that one. Um, so was it, look, was it bad? No. Was it my favorite? Definitely not. That still goes to the UK and the Israel box from a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> a couple of these things are going to go pretty well straight into the garbage. Those, those were, this is a waste of packaging. This is how this is how they get rid of dirty packing chips. <laughs> they put them in this. They don't even bother seasoning them. They just say it's a taste adventure. Yep, and if you could stomach them, eat them. <laughs> but as for me, I think I would rather lick the box that all this shipped in. Of all of it, my favorite, no two ways about it, has to be the five star. This is something I will look for in my local stores. Um, that arrow minty thing, not bad. As far as the chips go, none of them really wowed me. None of them knocked me off my feet. But like I said, this is what Snack Crate is all about. I would have never had a chance to taste most of this stuff if it hadn't been for Snack Crate. And if you're like me and you love trying things from around the world, from different places, Another subscriber is sending me more goodies. So this will, we've got another video coming up very shortly with, a, it's a mystery box of goodies. So I don't know, we will find out. <laughs> and uh, we'll be doing cooking again. Uh, we did that huge sandwich last week, which everyone seemed to love. I have a request to make a, I don't want to say a giant, but for those of you who know what a Swiss roll is, that little round cake with the cream filling in it, or the rolled cake, I should say, with the cream filling in it, and then it's all drenched in chocolate. We're going to make one of those, but a party size one. So uh, that's coming up very soon. I was also asked to do a cheese fondue. Perfect weather for that. 
Um, we've got risotto coming up. We have all kinds of goodies. And we do have, I wanted to do it for Super Bowl, but <laughs> either all the chicken wings I found were pre-cooked, raw, but totally overpriced, or frozen. And I never try and use frozen chicken wings wherever I can. So I do have, shows coming up soon, uh, a chicken wing, make at home chicken wings, and ones that are not going to set off the smoke detectors in your house. So all that's coming up. So I want to thank all of you for stopping by. Sorry, my nose is all, all itchy. If you like this video and you like what I do, hit that like button. It's free. But it shows me that you guys like what I'm doing and leave me a comment. What did you like? What didn't you like? Which one of these snacks have you tried? Which one of these snacks would you run to the hills to avoid? Those ones for me. If you want to help contribute to the channel, get in touch with me. If you have a recipe idea, if you just want to send me snacks like this, there's also always the Buy Me A Coffee link down in the description below. And we are done. So thank you ever so much. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Again, if you're coming back, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Share the video with your family and friends. So until next time, my name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. And, well, welcome to my tasting room. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.